We wear this, it's called a prayer shawl, of course. In Hebrew, it's called a talit. And we wear it like this. I say the blessing before we put it on. Baruch atah. And this has the tassels that the Bible talked about. But the Bible says you should also take the Word of God and put it on your arms and on your foreheads. And this we do through something called tefillin, phylacteries. Jesus himself, when he went to the synagogue at his bar mitzvah and after, he put on tefillin the same way that we do 2,000 years later and that we continue to do every morning with our prayers. Take the tefillin or the phylacteries as it's called in English and we put the one on our left hand, our, our weaker hand, and it's against the heart. And the message and the meaning of this is that we are to remember the words of God as it were commanded with our heart. We shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. We say the blessing. And we wrap it around our hands, as the Bible says, seven times. And then we stop when we put on the one on our head, on our forehead, as the Bible says. This one, though, has four compartments, uh, each one with a different series of verses, and that's why if you recall in those verses from the, uh, from the Bible, it says to remember God's word, to pass it on to the next generation, and to put them as a sign on your arms and as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall put them on the doorposts of your home and on their gates. This has been my armor. This is my comfort zone where I feel totally enwrapped and surrounded by God's love.